hope you're well welcome to my channel if you've not been here before it's where I talk about twin flames and these are the readings for February 2021 by sign you can look at these readings um, as a whole so they've all got advice that's worth listening to no matter which sign you are um, you could if you wanted to um, break it down by your Sun moon rising sign or where you've got a strong aspect on your chart to a particular sign so you might find that some are more beneficial than others um, to you at this current time but like I say you can listen to all of them if you want it's all good advice my guides talk through me about everything twin flame that's all they talk about and um, so when they talk it's all valuable for whoever's listening because it you know depending where you're at your process so just to say that so you got like probably three hours of listening if you wanted it and just to set it in a couple of videos this year is 2121 mirror numbers with 21st century and this is about reunions this year so that's what's coming up um so always just focus on vibration because vibration is where they um is the core of the whole thing it is the focus of the whole thing that you're going through it's just to know that with everything and um, what else did I want to say um, there's a video I've put out about um, my channel what's about if you want to watch that I'm going to put one out about the readings that I do shortly hopefully soon um, I've got uh, questions that people have given me on some of the readings I put out recently and I'm going to be doing videos on those soon as well so if it hasn't come up yet it's just because I haven't got time, had time yet, but I'm doing all the questions that come up. If you've got a question, you can post it below in the comments and I'll do a video on it if I've got time or if it's really easy, I'll just answer the question. Uh, general questions only, obviously not on personal stuff because that would mean doing a personal reading. Um, and what else? And I've put out my, I have a Facebook page which I uh, hid for a while and I've opened that up again and that's um, if you were a liker of that you'll you're still liking it because everyone's still on there that was so um, just to be aware that I'm going to be posting on there little bits and pieces occasionally things that come up that I just don't really warrant a video and um, but I've got to it's up and it's it's viewable but I haven't dusted it off so it does need a bit of polishing up so there's nothing on there right now at the moment I don't think but um much to look at right now but I'm going to get that all sorted out as well so that's back up and running properly so that's just it hope you enjoy the readings and um, like I said if you wanted to book a personal reading um, or session the details are in the description box below where you can contact me about that okay lots of love take care bye yes I hope you're well so here is your reading for February 2021 so Twin Flames, Aquarius, February 2021. C. <sighs> okay, so we've got Eight of Cups coming out. This is about uh, love coming back or possibly walking away from love. It could be either. Five of Swords, which is about the fight between the dark and the light, the arriving at the end of that battle. <clears throat> the Empress, which is rebirth. Queen of Wands, which is powerful feminine vibration. Queen of Swords, which is feminine truth. Page of Cups, that's new love coming in, or working towards new love, like taking steps. Knight of Cups, which is Romance. Queen of Cups, going with the flow. Six of Wands, healthy vibration, so successful vibration. And underneath you've got Three of Pentacles, which is growth in the physical world. So in terms of um, what's going on for you this month, it looks like that you are coming into operation around achieving the vibration that is going to bring about results in the physical world so 
it's all hinging on what you know in your mind, which is in the middle of the reading. So um, it could be that you just come to like a point inside yourself of understanding, shifted something there, maybe released some programming, maybe upgraded your programming in some way. <coughs> Excuse me. I do feel like there's a lot of clarity coming in for you in February around that. So it's like you're really going to be owning yourself as well in relation to your truth. So the way that you're going to be dealing with people and the way that you're going to be dealing in the physical world is going to be quite sharp, even possibly aggressive, actually, certainly empowered, um, because we've got your vibration here right next to this authenticity and we've got love coming in. So it's like you're cutting a route towards love and that's all about, um, comes from vibration and comes from your clarity and comes from your ultimate knowing of what you're worth and what you're here for and what you deserve and what you want and getting what you want and fulfilling your desires and all that kind of stuff in these two cards working towards new love. So you might find yourself holding your own with somebody in terms of conversations around love or creating love, you see, because you've got it underneath. I don't think you can see all of these, can you? Hang on, let me move them. There we go. Yeah, so using words to create what you want in this physical world, using thoughts to create what you want in this physical world, all around love. So what else are they saying about this? So we've got rebirth here in t terms of romance because we've got the rebirth card, the empress, and it's diagonally opposite. Knight of Cups, which is all about romance. So something around that is what you're bringing in. Uh, Eight of Cups coming back to something that you love, something that you left behind, and success in the vibration. So as far as Twin Flames are concerned, when you come towards your reunion, it's because your vibration is in the right place. So that's success in the vibration. So it means that you're bringing something back to you, constantly bringing something back to you, all dependent on your vibration and where your vibration's at and what that vibration is doing in relation to whatever it is that you want. Once you get into that kind of area that your vibration is in the right place, then it's just a simple matter of reeling it in, really, which you do through your thoughts. So you're doing it through dreams, imagination and thinking and letting go. So go with the flow and the Queen of Cups opposite the ending of the Battle of the Dark and the Light is where you find the ability inside yourself to just let go of everything that you've been through. So whatever it was that was hard or difficult, stressful, crazy, um, scary on the journey, you arrive at a point where you just let go of all of that. So in your vibration goes only good stuff. And it just, what goes in there is just the knowing that you're going to have the result from that vibration. So that truth is who you are, what you are, what you're here for, and letting go of everything else. There's a lot of, here we've got the Five of Swords. You see there's a lot of crazy making going on in the Five of Swords, that battle between dark and light. You can have that going on outside of yourself in what you see in the world around you collectively. You can have it in your own life, what you see coming towards you in your own life, from out of the blue and from left field and all that kind of stuff. You can feel it inside yourself from what comes to you from your twin. So it's, at first this journey is all about the dark and it's about up-leveling from the dark. And there gets a point where you arrive really at the conclusion, which is the clarity, that it's your vibration that is either drawing to you what you don't want or drawing to you what you do want. And your vibration is at the core of everything. So it's your vibration that you're focusing on. And focusing in on feeling good and letting go of anything that's been trying to cause you. Either through you, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're witnessing in any way, um, what you're experiencing. So fear can surround you sometimes. And um, uh, you've got to understand it's fear and then let go of the fear. So not want the thing to change that's showing up around you or want your what's going on is, you know, sometimes it can be coming through your physical body, aches and pains or strange uh, rashes and things appearing on your body, eczema around your eyes, all sort of stuff people get. So 
instead of focusing on that thing and looking at it constantly and being scared of that thing and worrying about that thing, because that's being in fear, is just to know that you're going to clear that thing if you let go of it, because that's letting go of the dark energy by not focusing on whatever it is that's showing up that's trying to make you feel fearful. Let go of it instead of letting it cause you. Uh, that's it. Dark energy, let go. And then you move into better vibration. Once you're in the better vibration zone, that's when you're going to manifest love. Whether it's coming back to you from someone you already know, whether it's coming to you from out of there from someone you don't know, whether it's coming to you completely just, you know, out of the blue, miraculously, that's how you do it. So it's all about vibration for you this month. Let's put one down on the Queen of Swords. Justice, so it's getting it right. <laughs> <clears throat> You could say there's no right and wrong because everything is a process and that is entirely true. But in terms of your thoughts and how you let them cord you, there is getting it right because getting it right is by not letting them cord you. So just know that as well. Let go. What's on the three of um, pentacles underneath? We've got ten of cups, which is happy relationship. So if you've been corded throughout this process by possibly what you're seeing from the person that you're connected to, the twin flame, right? So I've got dark energy there, like we say, it comes through you from your twin as well. So it's going to come through you in what they're experiencing in their life. So what they're going through, karmic partners, false twin flames, all, you know, family stuff that they've got to let go of as well, that they're working through, all this dark energy around them. As that's coming through you, you're going to need to let go of that. So even if the fear especially if the fear that you felt is irrational and it's crazy it's just you feel like crazy and this is resistance to a good vibration right you feel like frantic panicky this is resistance to a good vibration so that's what you got to let go of right if that is what you've got coming to you because it's not coming from you it's coming from them and just focus on feeling better focus on the feeling that you want so if you want this happy relationship and to feel really good and fulfilled and for life to be calm and easy and feel like, you know, you're complete because that's the end of the journey. So that is completion. Then focus on how you'll feel when, you, when you're in that and just relax into that and know that that's coming and let go of anything else and stop focusing on the fear. Stop making it bigger. When you focus on it, you make it bigger. You grow the fear. You don't want to grow the fear. Okay, let's go on the Eight of Cups over there, fear. <laughs> All right, so you've got to walk away from the fear. You've got to let go of it. You've just got to let go and stop focusing. Can't make it any clearer. Don't think about it. Don't question it. Don't ask about it. Don't remind yourself of what it is. Don't be constantly in that thought of this is happening to me, this is happening to me. Let go. Let go of that. Six of Wands, this is a success in the vibration new journey so you the full new journey I'm gonna have to move this a little bit you get a brand new journey when you achieve success in the vibration so all you're looking for is to feel good that's success in the vibration Empress rebirth timing you know you could process through this journey you do process through this journey to when you've cleared all this but just know that you will clear all this you will clear all fear You'll clear it from your physical framework. You will clear it first of all in not focusing on it, and then you will clear it in not feeling it, and then you will clear it in not manifesting it, and then you will clear it in it's not there at all, and then you will merge into physical reunion. Um, Knight of Cups, that is love moving forward, and you've got Six of Cups coming out on that, which is physical reunion, your reunion card. So you've got to be in that energy of feeling good for that to come in. So this is your month to focus on that. Five of Swords, ending in the mind. Uh, coming out on that, the Ten of Swords, which is just end the mind. So crazy making, uh, mad monkey, running in circles in the head, coming back to the same fear, focusing on the fear has got to stop. Try meditating. This is go with the flow. right? Before you can go with the flow and the things turn up from going with the flow, you've got to learn to go with the flow choices willful choices so meditate ground yourself so get yourself out of your head by grounding yourself with some meditation breathe into your heart center expand your heart center settle down in your heart center 
when you breathe into deep slow breaths deep slow breaths into the heart center it has the effect of slowing down the mind releasing yourself from all the mental programming all the anguish that is coming at you because it's coming at you through thought consciousness remember so it's coming at you from everyone around you from inside of you from inside of your twin um, we're here to end that mental paradigm so focus on what you know can help you do that singing helps singing to yourself you know things that calm you down really there's times for dancing as well but it's not one that really gets you into grounding and heart more um focused breathing calming the mind you know you could go on out on youtube listen to things about state of no mind that kind of stuff that might help if you don't really understand what no mind is activating your pain body maybe read Eckhart Tolle he's really good for talking about how you activate your pain body by focusing on this the pain the pain that you've been through so you never focus on the past always focus on feeling good in the present moment love that comes back that can't be seen that's not arrived yet in the five of cups and that's coming on your vibration you see queen of wands she's upside down so it's just saying you just got to tweak that vibration maybe this month there's work, you see. It's twin flame process is work. It's not um, it's not a joy ride. And then we've got love coming forward, and we've got the wounded warrior coming out on that. So that's masculine energy coming out on what's moving forward, the love that's moving forward. So this is for twin flames. So obviously separation, the masculine energy moving forward out of separation is coming on your vibration. So look at that around the mind if you haven't already. You're very mental sign Aquarius possibly why they're talking about the mind for you. Um, but this is definitely some kind of up-leveling because also justice is a num number 11. Queen of Swords is just everything about the mind. It's authenticity, which is truth, which is what you're here for, which is clarity. Clarity is love and love is freedom and it's freedom from the matrix and it's free freedom from the enslavement of the collective consciousness and egoic consciousness, which is dark energy. So that's what you're here for so learn that understand that and focus on that and that being your work and your mi mission before you come into a physical reunion and clearing that and coming into that authentic vibration of that which is a powerful vibration and manifestation all right so that's Aquarius we're going to leave that there lots of love hope it's helped see you with the next one